What is going on guys? We are back for episode 19 of our Pokemon Bushido Let's Play. I'm letting you know right now, if this episode is the last episode, it's going to trigger my OCD. We're going to make it 20. Um, but we are of course joined by Goku Gaming. What is going on my man? This is episode 19 and it will be the last episode. Oh, that's Probably. really unfortunate. Okay, <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to stall out here. Uh, uh, can't, can't cleanse flames. Yeah, we got to get that. We gotta get it. Shoot, Shoot, this stupid door looks like it needs five keys to open. Drat! Good thing we got those. Where those keys even be? I don't know. We got uh, them. Uh, hello? Yeah, I don't know what's with that door. It takes a while. You know, it's the lock stuck. Mm. Oh, nice work, Leaf. Hey, we're finding those keys to unlock the door. Let's head in. I thought we were gonna ram it. <laughs> Now we got the keys. We don't need to ram it. All right. We also don't need to burn this building down. So. Hey, Leaf, check it out. Those strange shadow flames from outside are in here, too. Looks like they're blocking the way upstairs. If only we could put them out somehow. Ouch! Okay, those flames are harder than anything I've dealt with in the Ninja clan. Well, Leaf, it looks like the only way we can go down is in the basement. The creepy Akui basement. Ah, what am I saying? There's a chance that Taramaka is down there. I have to go. Come on, Leaf. Ah. All right, let's go. Let's follow her. Follow um, her lead. We're... Oh, wait, they're all in prison. Hello. Yeah. Scraggy. Pancham. Oh. I can sense that my Taramaka is nearby. Come on, Leaf. There's no time to waste. But how do you... I can't... I have no control. There's a Master Ball right there with that gibble. Yeah, that Gimbal wants it. I think I think this is your father, Rio. Or father Rio, I can't read. The Royal Samurai. Hello. What's up, Pops? Leaf, you've finally made it! And you have the katana of light remarkable. I must have gone through so much to get here. And ye and mine. Look how you've grown up. You and Akane I'm sure have grown into excellent Kenshi. Rio knows my name? And he thinks I'm excellent? Bad girl. Gah! Enough about me, we're gonna free you. We also wanna free my wallet. Darumaka. Uh, that is not a Darumaka no more. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. What did the Kui clan do to you, buddy? They evolved him, apparently. You're a, sh a Shadow Darmanitan now, but I would recognize you anywhere. You still have the little ribbon tied on your arm when I first got you. I need to save you somehow. Burn the door open. Leaf, I need your help to escape this prison cell. There are guards who have prison keys in the basement beneath the prison. Why would the guards not be above to block that... people from coming out instead of being under further? <laughs> Look, logic. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't even... I don't even need, uh, look, I got it. I got it, Pops. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Now right, let's let's go. Me go. Oh, this section is so lame. It's an ambush. We're gonna take that lot. Hey, they're still in our katana, and we're just gonna kind of let him do it. Oh, Salamence just can't use flamethrower or bite. Yeah, you know, uh, it gets worse. So you would think you would fight him, right? Well, guess what? They just use shadow clone jutsu. All right, okay. now we gotta find. Now we gotta find them. We don't have our sword. We can't break our rocks. Uh oh. Hello. Oh yeah. Also, none of them fight. Oh okay, that's a lot easier then. Mm. Yeah, we just have I to find them and talk to them. I can run around. Yeah. They're not like in hard to find places either. Yeah. It's not like a trick house like in uh, Gen Three. No, I do like the trick house though. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, I feel like curry? this is just a bonus room to get like a bunch of items. Yeah. So, which you know, it's fine, I guess. Tanakatsu ramen. Oh, we have to fight this chick, I guess. A lot. All right, square off. Let's go. Give me back my sword. Also, why didn't the sword lady hide behind the rock? It would be foiled at that point in time. 
Yeah, you would think. <laughs> Alright, what you got for me? Isn't a move. Clearly she has a sword, so... Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Hello. Hmm. Dodge and weave. That's all we gotta do? Our sphere. Bye. Our sphere might be my favorite fighting attack. Oh, it's great. It's amazing. And we're not saying that because we both like Lucario. <laughs> Lucario is a great Pokemon, but yes. <laughs> I just really like the move. Although, you know. Uh, go work. Lapras. Lorelei. This thing's gonna like Stone Edge or some place. I'm calling it now. Uh, no, we'd never do that. I also forget that Golark's not a rock top, it's a ground top. Yeah. Uh, and then we can paint the baby ice beam when it comes back. Ta -da. Uh, nice damage. but we might, uh, die to poison if we get Shadow Force again. Sure they Shadow Force. Let's use that curry. I feel like curry's such a nice thing. It's like a full hill that actually heals as well. So do we know why curry was so important in Galar when it's not even a British dish? Yes. <laughs> it's reasons. Um, that is the answer. Like, they couldn't have done, like, anything more British? Yes. It's small indie company. Ooh, Corviknot. Also really like Corviknot. Corviknot is pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, focus. Burn it. Although it's not a steel pop, so it's not gonna matter. But you know. oh, hello. That did a lot of damage. Um. Well, I was actually just gonna flamethrower, but yeah. Who do you think the best early bird Pokemon is? Early bird? Yeah. Um. I think Corviknot's so gotta be up there. I also would have to think it. I think Talonflame wins, though. Talonflame only wins in Generation 6. I don't because... know. Gellies are still a pop, like, really strong. Yeah, but they got nerfed pretty hard. Like, it went from always going first no matter what if it was a flying-type move to, like, now it's they only for full, full HP. HP. So, like, to me, like... It nerfed enough that Corviknight is just such a good defensive Pokemon as a whole that, like, it sort of kind of beats out the ability, you know? Uh, I don't know. I definitely I feel like it's got to be between those two. But, um, let's be real, my heart is telling me that the only such Blantle is Knocked Out. I didn't know you were a big Knocked Out fan. Love Knocked Out. Noctowl gets so screwed on, like, every front, too. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's I know. so sad. I know. But, like, when I was thinking of early gym Pokemon, like, early bird Pokemon, I completely forgot about Noctowl, just because it's, like, it doesn't really yeah. have any moves going forward, its stats aren't particularly great, its topping is, you know, yeah. same thing as Pidgey. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I mean, at least Pidgeot's got a Mega when Megas exist. Yeah. We don't talk about... <laughs> we don't talk about that. Um, oh. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Knockdown is amazing. I actually have it, like... So it actually made both my normal and flying-type top 5 list. Huge Knockdown fan. Yeah, it, it was up there. Like, it was, like... What number did I have it at? I'm pretty sure I had it, like, literally number 2 on my, like, flying-type list or something. <laughs> Time to look and see. Yeah, it was up there. Let's find your channel. And YouTube, don't start recommending me Pokemon stuff again. All right, uh, playlist. Uh, let's see. Uh, season. Is it season one? Yeah, it was season one. Play all. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was like absolutely up there. All right, so. Blast score, Charizard, Corviknot. Noctowl was number two. Number two on flying. Salamence was Salamence number one. Salamence being... Yeah, Corviknight yeah. was number three. Speaking uh, of our starter birds. Where is... Oh, normal. And Noctowl was number one on my normal type Pokemon. It was, yep. Yeah. It was. Followed by Kangaskhan. Yeah. Then Snorlax. Yeah. 
Then Oren Guru. Oren Guru is dope. Oren Guru is dope. Yeah, the Guru rubber duck, you had to make it at some point as well. <laughs> but yeah, are you people... a... Sorry? Oh, I was just say, are you more of a P2 fan than P3? Absolutely. P3, PZ. Absolutely. I have always been a fan of bulkier Pokemon. Interesting. Yeah, like, I value defense when I make a team. And so, like, an Eviolite um, Porygon 2 is a little bit more appealing to me than Porygon Z. Um, I feel like it's just generally Z better, too, anyways. Attacks a little bit better. But, I feel yeah. like I'm more of an offensive top person. Like, I go in straight for the kill. Hopper so, offensive. For me, anyways, I... I just am too conservative to do that. It really has a... Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, like, for me, anyways, like, I like to have... Like... I kind of think of it more like a... Like, I need oh. to have a couple defensive Pokemon, a couple offensive Pokemon, and then a couple, like, utility Pokemon. That's kind of yeah, how I like to make teams. It. Yeah. But, like... I, but if I had to, bulky offense is, like, the best way for me to, to play. Um, because I think I can be strategic enough where, like, I can use the, the slower speed to my advantage. But, like, yeah. Yeah, I like, uh... Probably... I, I don't know. I feel like I'm more of a hopper offense, like, speed thing. But then I look at, like, my favorite Pokemon, like, being Bulbasaur and, like, Venusaur, and it's like... Yeah, that's which, I mean, that's in, all, offense. in all fairness, Venusaur is not, like, the slowest thing. It's... No, it's actually, bulky it's, like, offense is what it's considered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, like, I really like using Trick Room as, like, a, a strategy. Um, I would rather use Weather instead of Trick yeah. Room. Yeah, so I like Weather as well, but Trick Room for me is just, like... I get to use my bulky offense, but then I get to be hyper bulky offense, and like, I use the slow speed to have a speed advantage and bulk and still have the attack that everyone else has. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, with weather, yeah. you just have to, it's like, okay, like, you're gonna go, go for broke for like three turns, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there is a difference to it. Um, I think I am pretty good with using weather teams, but, um... Like, I just prefer, like, bulky offense just feels, like, less restrictive to me. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you, like, how well you know the competitive Pokemon or anything like that, but, like... I know it pretty well. I used like, to I do it a lot, especially in Gen Like, I played competitive Pokemon Gen 6. Um, and for me, like, most people use, like, Kangaskhan with, like, Heatran, and then they use, like... Or, it was Heatran slash Talonflame. And then they used like a Moongus, they used um, the two genies, and like they tried to like go fast. And yeah. like I know that like I ended up playing with like a Trick Room Kangaskhan team, and like I felt like I did better than when I played with like a fast team. Was it Mega Kangaskhan? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupid power up punch. Garbage. So when you played with like a, a bulky offense version, you didn't actually use power up punch. You used a hammer arm. I guess to slow yourself down. So you, so basically that's what I did. So basically like every Kangaskhan team like really had like a psychic type. Most people just use Cresselia, but they would use it for like support. But like yeah. I was using like Reuniclus so I could like have like a offensive psychic type to use. Yeah. And then I, I just have Trick Room on the Reuniclus and then I would get Trick Room up, I'd have Fake Out with Kangaskhan so like I could set it up easy. And then you could still use Heatran like in Trick Room or whatever. Or, or like Sylveon and just like spam moves and just destroy people. Sylveon's so good. It's such oh, yeah. a bulky like special yeah. yeah. Like insanely bulky. Yeah. So. Although I also like Umbreon. So. Yeah, Umbreon just doesn't really have much of a attack set to use. Umbreon has zero attack. I mean, it like, doesn't, Umbreon but it pretty much just, does. Umbreon gets set up sweep a lot, so that was, like, kind of the hard part about it, like, competitively. Yeah, you pretty much just Toxic Wish stall. Yeah, it's well. Toxic Wish with, like, 
foul play is like your one offensive move. Yeah. And that is it. <laughs> yeah. So like, if you go up against special attacker, it doesn't even matter. Like, you just lost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks for the key, yo. Keys, keys. Listen, keys. And they only have one time. key for every single prison lock. That seems not very productive. It does not seem productive. Leaf, you made it. And you got the key. Amazing work. Let's get these cells open right now. Okay. Well done, Leaf. I knew you could do it. I hope the Akui Clan didn't give you too much trouble. Here, now that I am free, I need to teach you how to truly wield the katana. It feels like years since I've last wielded the katana of light. I am so glad I found his way to you. Now, awaken your full potential. That's all you do was just say awaken your full potential. Yeah. yeah, that's all you needed to know. <clears throat> you could have gotten rid of the flames. Ah. Well, bye. Oh, thanks for the heal. Hey, Pops, get out of here. We gotta go free Darmanitan now. Oh, we're gonna have to fight sure, it, Nah, nah. Darmanitan's gonna be like, I'm friendly. I might be a shadow Pokemon, but I'm friendly. Come on out, Dar Darmanitan. It's me, Akane, remember? No, I don't remember. It's a Pokemon. We're your friends. Do you remember us? We care about you, and you're my best friend. Remember, we beat you, you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gave you that ribbon on your arm. Do you, do you remember that? Do you remember the pounding I gave you? Come on, buddy. We're here to save you. Oh, uh, its heart grew three sizes that day. It did. It's still going to be evil, though. Probably. Not really, I guess. It's Darmanitan, after all. Darmanitan's a scary Pokemon. There's a lot of Gen 5 mods that are actually really scary. Darmanitan, Excadrill. Yeah. So, like, you see him, you're like, oh, that's a threat. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of prison here. Thank you. But now I gotta go back. No. Yes, we do have to go back. It looks like the years have treated you well. Rio, you need to look out for yourself. Being captured by the Akuni clan. Need to be saved by children and an old fool like me. Some royal samurai you've been... Who are you stepping on? <laughs> I thought I trained you better. Shut up, dude. Did I get out of here? All right, can we, can we, can we just go? Beef, I'm injured. You were just in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they injured him. Okay. Don't, don't worry. We're gonna be the boss. You know, he's yeah, as strong as Kenshi. Yeah, we are. Hmm, it would seem that Leaf has certainly excelled past the limits of my training. Yeah, because you suck as a trainer. Apparently. And yeah, we're going to be on the beach taking care of Darmanitan. Good luck. We know you can beat the Kui clan. Hey, do you like want Gengar. this, like, bean? <laughs> yeah. The one right. game you have father, and I'm just like, skip. <laughs> it's very rare. Uh... Alright, healed up. Now, I want to go back. Good thing these people don't try to fight us anymore. Yeah. I want to go back because I want to get that Master Ball. Yeah, understandable. Oh, wait. Wrong Just house. Kidding. Just kidding. This place is like a maze. But... I think it was the library? Was it? Was it? Yeah, it was this way, right? It was the library is where it was. Oh. Remember there was a switch? Just kidding. <laughs> I think it was library. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm also awful with directions, so Just you know. Just kidding. No, we're right uh, back down here again. Yeah, I we thought were, it was like, up, up here, and then like over here. Oh no, we're both lost. Well, maybe it was the... Oh, you know what? It's the house up north. Oh, you're where right. Where Akane you're was. Right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting here looking around. We're uh, out of the episode on purpose. Wait. What we're doing. Ha! Fwa. Max Jam. Perfect. Um, we need to go back in jail. We do need to go back to jail. And we can free these uh, Pokemon, I guess. So. 
let them roam wild. Yeah. You got a Scrappy, Pancham, Jengmo O, and Impidim. I feel like Impidim's kind of an odd choice here. A little bit. But that's so. okay. Um. I like how they also have just a Master Ball chilling in the cell. Hi. Hello, Gibble. Goodbye, Gibble. Uh, we have a better dragon type. Bye. Garchomp is a good dragon, though. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> I was going to say, unfortunately, it's weak to us, but I was like, wait, so it's Salamence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all weak. They're all weak. Okay, up. And we have made it to the grass. Congratulations. Yeah. There you go. We got to beat this person up. Which, this is effectively the Elite Four in the game. I'll still leave that, but this is, like, effectively it. Oh, so what you're saying yeah. is we should wrap up the episode right here and start off fresh. Okay, well, I'll see you. Uh, so what we're going to do is wrap up today's episode right here. Uh, episode 20 will be the finale. Bless. Uh, bless my OCD on that one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get up out of here. So thanks for watching. Click like the video. Subscribe if you really liked it. And go subscribe over to Gilco as well. Uh, because you never know, maybe we'll do something over there at some time in the future. Definitely will. I promise. It's on top.